UAE and India ink a free trade deal and EFG Hermes hires Goldman Sachs to advise on FAB's bid to acquire a majority stake. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farad. The UAE and India have inked a free trade deal that's expected to double bilateral non-oil trade to $100 billion within five years. It's the latest effort to boost ties between the UAE and its second largest trading partner. EFG Hermes has hired Goldman Sachs to advise on First Abu Dhabi Bank's bid to acquire a majority stake in the Egyptian Investment Bank. Earlier this month, EFG received a non-binding offer from FAB for a potential cash acquisition of a majority stake of not less than 51% of the bank's issued shares at an indicative purchase price of $1.20 apiece, valuing it at $1.2 billion. Saudi-based Al-Rajhi Bank plans to raise its capital by $4 billion through a proposed scheme to issue bonus shares to its shareholders. The bank says it will increase its capital by 60%. Al-Rajhi's board has recommended granting three shares for every five shares held. The bank's plan will increase its capital from $6.7 billion to $10.7 billion. Saudi Arabia-based Teleco Mobile saw its net profit jump by 36.8% in 2021, compared to a year earlier on the back of an increase in revenues and subscriber numbers. Mobile reported a net profit of $285.7 million for 2021. Officials say the increase in revenues was mainly driven by growth in the business and consumer segments, as well as in the subscriber base. Bahrain's InvestCorp has invested $17.5 million in V-Insure Pharma Technologies. The investment round, with participation from Asia-based private investment firm Tanis Capital, marks InvestCorp's third healthcare investment in India. InvestCorp has been active in the mid-market private equity space in India since 2019, investing across the healthcare, businesses, services, financial services, consumer and retail and technology sectors. Credit Suisse Group allegedly managed accounts for clients involved in human rights abuses, corruption and drug trafficking. That's according to newspaper reports which are based on leaked data on more than 18,000 accounts. Together, these accounts held more than $100 billion. The data covers accounts open from the 1940s up until the last decade. Credit Suisse issued a statement saying it strongly rejects the allegations and insinuations about the bank's purposed business practices. Meanwhile, Tesla is reportedly facing a review in Germany over an autopilot feature. It comes amid intense regulatory scrutiny into the electric vehicle maker's driver assistance technology in different countries. Germany's Federal Motor Vehicle Office is investigating Tesla's automated lane change function and whether it's approved for use in Europe. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.